This was one of the worst intersections in the Netherlands. It was nicknamed Heetmanplein after the traffic engineer who designed it. It was located at the edge of the city centre of Sertogenbos in the Netherlands for 48 years. Built in 1965, at the height of the automobile era, it was a terrible place for anyone, but especially for people walking and cycling. In 2014, it was completely redesigned. The new intersection takes much less space and people walking and cycling can get through it much easier. So what is the story here? This was the location of the former city wall and when the fortifications were dismantled in the 1880s the city decided to turn the space into a nice city park. But traffic increased and in the 1930s the lovely park got two large roundabouts. By the time the private car became mainstream, these roundabouts were not able to handle the increased traffic. And in the 1960s, the city had to look for a new solution for this double intersection. A flyover was considered, but too expensive, and in the end, the intersection went from two clear roundabouts to this mess. Mr. Heitman had designed this on the back of a cigar box. It was a very unconventional intersection that gave every possible direction a separate route. This required a lot of space, the entire former park, and led to many separate lanes for motor traffic. The routes passed each other in such ways that traffic was even driving on the left-hand side at several locations. In the 1960s, some engineers, also in the Netherlands, believed that cycling would soon become extinct, and in this design, Creating space for cycling seems to have been an afterthought. If someone wanted to cycle from the city centre to the south, this was the route. From south to north it was very different, but just as bad. Whereas motor traffic could go north in a straight line. It wasn't always so easy for motor traffic. A left turn could mean you had to go right first. But it's all gone. In 2014, the city finally reconstructed the intersection. There are now two T-junctions with traffic signals at the edge of the former intersection. Traffic flows very smoothly. The lights are demand-driven and loops detect people cycling. The waiting times are very acceptable and the routes for all types of traffic are now much more intuitive. And just look at all the space the 1960s monstrous intersection wasted. It's all open now. So what to do with that valuable open space? Right in the middle was a former city gate and some people would like to reconstruct it. But it has been gone since 1891, so that would be a falsification of history. To get inspiration, the city held a competition. People could send in models of their idea for the area. A lot of people did. And although the competition had a winner, it is still not sure what will happen with the central area. Some cycleways may be altered when a final decision is taken. That's why some cycleways are not surfaced with asphalt. This indicates that they are not final yet. Whatever is decided, at least the intersection has already been hugely improved. It wastes a lot less space and it is a lot friendlier to people walking and cycling without any disadvantages to the flow of motor traffic. <laughs>